Okay, hi, how's everyone doing? My name's Tori Rowe. Uh, I have a lot of swooshes, I know. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about the risks in becoming and in the pursuit of becoming a pro athlete. Okay? Uh, the reason I believe I'm knowledgeable in this situation is uh, I have a lot of friends who are college athletes uh, here at ASU, here all over the nation, UCLA. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are pro athletes, including my, uh, my sister's boyfriend's a pro athlete. Uh, so I know a lot of athletes. Uh, my dad was one of the top recruited college athletes till a career Indian entry, which we'll talk about. Uh, the three major risks I'm going to talk to you about today is the injuries, financial risks, and the relationship risks uh, on, with your toll, uh, the toll it takes on your family and friends. Okay, let's get started. All right, injuries. Uh, the number one risk that an athlete takes from the high school level and up, even below Pop Warner. Uh, I don't know, T-ball, you, if you get injured, I don't know. Uh, according to the NEISS, 16,000 injuries occurred in 2006 in uh, football alone, in the high school level and up. 3,000 of those injuries were critical, which means they broke a bone or they ended up in the hospital for some reason. Uh, a lot of those injuries can be career-ending. Uh, what I mean by that is they can't come back. Uh, they'll never be the same athlete they were before. Uh, high school is where most of the injuries start to occur. Uh, college is the biggest place where people suffer career-ending injuries. Uh, lots of pro athletes suffer career-ending injuries. Uh, Yao Ming recently with the Houston Rockets a couple years ago. Uh, one of the best players out there at the time because he's seven foot six or something ridiculous. Uh, Troy Aikman, one of the best quarterbacks, uh, he suffered career-ending injuries at the end of his career. Uh, lots of players do it. Uh, and it actually can uh, mess you up financially. Okay, financially, what I mean by that is the average career length for an athlete is four years at right now. Okay, that's according to Sports uh, ESPN. Okay, so four years you're coming out. Let's say basketball is the number one sport where most people go straight from high school to the pros. Basketball and baseball. You're a 19 year old kid. You stumble upon 25 million dollars. First thing you do. You buy your house, your mama house, brand new cars, and you're thinking to yourself, hey, it doesn't matter, I'm going to be, I can go $10 million in debt and do everything I want right now because I'm going to have a career that's 10 years long and make millions of dollars until you suffer that career Indian injury or you're not the same player you were before, you just eventually suck. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Uh, so that's a big uh, risk people take. Uh, Athletes, famous athletes go broke, as you can see. Warren Sapp, Kurt Schilling, Mike Tyson, Michael Vick. Uh, another reason that a lot of them lose their money is gambling problems, divorce. Divorce is crazy for an athlete, okay? It's called expected living lifestyle for women or men if you're getting divorced from a woman. Uh, you get 30% of what the athlete is supposed to make. So A-Rod, his cost him, I think, $162 million alone. And it's not, and he's, I mean, he makes way more money than that. The guy's probably made a billion dollars. But the thing is, is that $164 million, that's right away. It's gone. And so a lot of athletes go broke over it. Michael Vick, I'm sure you guys all know, him going to jail and everything like that cost him uh, quite Quite a few million dollars. I believe it said 18 million. Uh, minor league baseball players, they take a big financial risk. They make maybe 42, I think it said $42,000 a year, but they're not doing anything. They can't hold another job. $42,000 a year, they're traveling all over just trying to pursue this career and they're not in college, <coughs> not like us. So if they fail in that, what do they do? They're 27 years old, come out of minor league baseball, never made it to the big time. What do you do? You got nothing. Okay. Uh, the financial risks, like I said, comes into relationships. Okay. Uh, gold diggers, they're out there. Uh, I wouldn't know personally because I don't have any money. But <laughs> uh, a lot of people lose lose all their money on their uh, relationships. Uh, as you can see, sixty to eighty percent of NFL marriages end in divorce. Okay. That's uh, the only one, that I believe the only career that's higher than that is firefighters, okay? Pro athletes is second. Uh, firefighters is a tough job, 24 on, 48 off, so I understand a little bit. But long distance relationships is what all you have to deal with as an NFL player or a tennis player, wherever. 
a baseball player, wherever you are. Uh, the risks it takes on, if you have kids and stuff like that, imagine you guys, I don't know how many of you are in relationships, but imagine your loved one being gone for six months out of the year with tons of temptation around them. Everyone wants them because they're bajillionaires. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, bajillionaires. Uh, as you can see to the left of your screen is what people's divorce cost, okay? $168 million for Michael Jordan. Michael Strahan, 15. Greg Norman, 103. Uh, Jeff Gordon, $15.3 million all over a, a girl. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. All right? Uh, like I said, the toll on relationships, I mean, your loved one's always gone, stuff like that, it's, it's rough. They take a lot of risks, uh, they lose the ones they love over not being there, trying to support their family and stuff like that. It's a lot of trust, uh, I don't have it. Uh, <laughs> so in conclusion, those are the three main risks uh, in the pursuit of becoming a pro athlete. Your injuries, your financial risks and the risks that you take for your relationships. Uh, you guys decide whether it's worth the risk or not. Thank you.